The effects of climate change are being felt all over the world, and we need to take urgent action if we are to avoid further threats to our homes, health, and livelihoods. Wind, hydro, and solar power are helping to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels, but it's not enough. We need to do more, much more, if we are going to meet the target of net zero by 2050. We don't just need to radically reduce the amount of carbon dioxide we produce. We need to capture it before any more accumulates. And, if possible, even develop ways to remove it from the atmosphere. Imagine a world where we can efficiently capture carbon dioxide and are able to convert this unwanted gas into something useful on an industrial scale. It's a huge challenge. But if successful, we could potentially close the carbon cycle, creating what some scientists have termed artificial photosynthesis. The good news is that scientists have identified ways in which this may work in the lab, so the race is now on to find a viable way to achieve this at scale. One of the most promising approaches involves electrolysis, where clean electricity is used to break down carbon dioxide to create a synthetic gas made of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This can then be used as a building block for new fuels. The speed of the process depends upon the catalyst being used, and Canadian scientists have found that gold is one of the most effective and efficient catalysts available. Inspired by this discovery, the World Gold Council has teamed up with the National Research Council of Canada to accelerate the development of gold-based catalysts. They will use a combination of AI machine learning and robotic automation to get results quickly. There is no time to waste. Gold already plays a vital role in our world, but if we can use it to help make carbon conversion a practical and cost-effective reality, we could greatly improve our chances of arriving at a zero carbon economy, which would be of enormous benefit to our planet and its people.